taking to the witness stand and telling the court that based on messages extracted from the deceased's phone, the late Rongo University student was receiving threatening messages from an unknown woman. And as Mary Mwaki reports, some of the text messages sent by a yet to be identified woman asked Sharon to leave her husband alone and outrightly threatening her with dire consequences. Witness depositions into the trial of former Migori governor and his two aides Michael Oyamo and Caspol Obiero who were being charged with the murder of Sharon Otieno continued on Tuesday with DCI officer Ezekiel Ade testifying to the court that the deceased was receiving threatening messages from an unknown woman. From the messages read to the court by officer Ade, the unidentified woman told Sharon to leave her husband alone and threatened to make the late Sharon to pay dearly for it. The message read in part, Please leave my husband alone. I've gotten your number finally. I have to look for you and fight you. I have to fight you, irrespective of what it will cost. Idiot, gold digger. I will fight you to the bitter end. The mysterious woman father claimed to know Sharon's whereabouts. I have the footage where you were at night. You won't escape and schools. We shall one day come face to face. Full stop. Action plan begins. Even if a man has never stuck in new, prepare for it. At cross-examination from the defense, Officer Ade said he could not ascertain who the husband being fought over is and that she repeatedly warned Sharon of unspecified action if she carried on with the relationship with the said husband. In response, a message presumably sent by Sharon from her Huawei phone reads in part, I love a very peaceful life. Maybe I'm dating a guy. I think he's single but married. I will just be honest then I walk away. In what would later be eerily prophetic, Sharon dared the woman to do her worst, adding that the lady's time of reckoning was bound to come. That prophetic utterance by Sharon being fulfilled in court on Tuesday when Officer Ade read out the texts. You are used to doing bad things to people because that's what you are already. Just do your was but rem there is judgment day you will do them and get away with them but there is that one day you're gonna pay the witness father informed the court that Sharon sent a message to someone she only referred to as Honey. The detective went ahead to read to the court an exchange of acrimonious messages between the late Sharon and Honey. It's there. I didn't terminate it. Your baby is kicking. It's as if he is playing football in my womb. The person saved as Honey responded and wrote... Try your luck elsewhere. You are not going to blackmail me. Following that message, Sharon wrote back saying, I am not blackmailing you in any way. What's wrong with you? Whether you accept it or not, we are having a baby. It's a reality. You can never escape away from it. The case is ongoing before Judge Cecilia Githua, Merimoki, Citizen TV.